Hello everyone, welcome back to Pro Gamers. We're here, back playing some more Persona. You go to bed. <laughs> oh my god. You hit the sink again. I need to count how many times I've done that. I pressed, I pressed X on it. You missed. <laughs> this is Ryuji and Lady Arn huh? They seem confident, but. Wow. Huh, you seem surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. There's no customers. What's up? Yo. We're here. <laughs> so where they we were out buying stuff and got a little caught up in what to get. So many snacks. Like I said, do you plan on doing? Hey! Well, some vacation at the time when you lounge around in your room all day. Yeah, and eating snacks is the best part of that. Come on. You're gonna get fat, you know. Shut it. Hey. Hey, where's Vitaba? You have done well in coming here. <laughs> oh, this mask again. Yep. <laughs> Whoa. Shit freaked me out that you, Vitaba. Yep, welcome. Why are you wearing that? Habit. Alright, let's go. Anyway, bring it. Not sure I get it, but let's do this. Man. Sheesh. Look that like, look like today's going going to be another noisy day. <laughs> For real, it was freaking amazing. There were goals all over me. Wait, you don't believe a word I'm saying, do you? Uh it's you we're talking about here. There's no way you wet you ever a chick magnet. What? What was that? Agreed. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. Just a bit suspicious. Plus, popular girls wouldn't be good bragging about that stuff to other people. Guys. Right, so, I don't want to say girls. Hey. I keep wondering if I should do it while I'm still young. But these dresses show a lot of skin, right? Hey, are you even listening? There's no point talking about wedding dresses right now. None of us have significant others. Yep, I don't want to get married right now. Yeah! Can we please talk about something else? <laughs> you know, Vitabu is fine having conversations. Yeah, she doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. I don't know what normal is. <laughs> but if this is it, I'm happy. I totally thought you were going to be some weirdo, but I guess all that worrying was for nothing. I'm relieved too. I think these things should keep you going smooth at this rate. By the way, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? Well... How about we have to try helping around the store? That's perfect. It'll be good practice to have her up in front of strangers. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Showing up in the shop at lunchtime will be like super crushing hard mode. You don't have to deal with customers if you don't want to. Maybe we could drive plates in the back. I'd be mad if you weren't. Then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. You're all gonna pay for this someday. You gotta ask boss first though, you sure do Ah, he'll be fine with it. A popularity through the roof. You guys gotta hear this. This cute chick said she wants to go out with that infused. But not your suspicious. But not, not specifically. specifically, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. Not surprised as a member of the opposite sex. I said it's no charm for you. Are you doing the same fucking thing again? <laughs> you don't gotta say it over text too. What in the world were you all doing today? Go talk at LeBlanc. Uh, more like chatting and snacking, really. So she's completely heard object for the day. You are fucking up everything today. Yeah. So she's completed oh, her objective for the day, yeah. Next up is, for, is practice going out in front of people. Wait, what? You'll be fine. Akira will be with you the whole time. We want to ease you into it. So your first stage will be helping out at the block. Only Akira will be with you tomorrow. Good luck. Thanks for the help. You better make an effort tomorrow, Akira. Don't worry, man. He just lays in. Yeah, it's all it's all you, Futaba. It's all you. How are you healing? 
I'm fine. It's my fault anyway. Oh my god, what the fuck? I can't say that. You, yeah, you, yeah, he said so. I don't know. He says he doesn't want to hit me, but I just make him so mad. I suggest you break up with him. Things are only going to get worse at this rate. But I'm the only person that cares about him. If I leave, how will we survive? Please, is there any other way? No. That was a tarot. Tarot. Yeah. Oh, divine power. Shed that upon her fate. <laughs> Yes, I've seen everything. I can sense a dark presence within your boyfriend. His heart seems to be possessed by a demon. This demon may hide itself away at times, but when it strikes, it will bring with it great misery. What kind of misery? You will be hospitalized for severe injuries suffered in a domestic abuse incident, and he will be arrested. What? Hospitalized? Arrested? And you will shit have that. Yeah, I throw my holy stone away. He said I shouldn't be wasting my money on some dumb rock. That I should be giving it to him instead. This is my punishment for letting him do that, right? Please, let me buy another one from you. What? You want another? My next stone, stone will need to be even bigger. I'm a little low on cash at the moment, but you said I can pay up to 36 installments, right? Do you understand now why he ended up putting you in the hospital? <laughs> Truthfully, I thought breaking up with him would be the best. I can't abandon you, Yai. I can't say that. <laughs> you, Yai. I don't know what it is. I've always said it about three different ways. Yeah. She really thinks her boyfriend will stop being abusive as soon as she has a holy, holy stone. <laughs> There's no way that it could be true, right? I feel like the holy stone is the reason she's getting abused. Yeah. <laughs> Right, it wouldn't make it out of jobs way easier if you could really change someone's heart with a holy stone. It's clear that she hired some some 40 days ago, but that's two days ago do anything. Hey, Akira, why don't we why don't we change that guy's heart ourselves? I mean he's hurting this woman here, right? This is the poet judge for the fact that he's to save her. Hmm? Meowing. What? Hey. Why are you eavesdropping on us? That's an invasion of privacy, you know. I'm just in the line. <laughs> what do you mean, each dropping? I'm just in the line for you. There is not. The thing you see, is... some fates in this world are simply inescapable. The demon within your boyfriend's heart cannot be exhausted. Exhausted? What? Exercised. Yeah. What? Well, is that exercise? Are you sure? Exorcised. Oh. It's it's like uh, being removed. Right. By normal human. Methodologies or some shit. I oh, don't know. Methodologies. Yeah, fate is absolute. Although, I guess you might be able to control a demon's temper if you bought another holy stone. Give me fuck, more money! Fuck you, man. I bet you go charge like 200,000 this time. I'm not entirely sure who, I, who you are, but do you know of any other way I can approach this problem? Full name, please? <laughs> huh? His full name is. Something you chimuva. Why do you want to know? What are you planning on doing? You should have said it before he gave us a fucking name. Imagine you just gave us his address as well. I'd be like, wait, where are we going with this? <laughs> yes. What do you expect to change with that meager information? What? You honestly believe you could do something? I, I trust you, yeah. Oh my god, how can you trust us? I mean, she's got no real choice at this point, does she? Excuse me? It feels like he's telling the truth. Besides, Yuya has all my money. He's going to pay me back someday. But for now, I'd rather put my trust in this one boy than in 36 payments for a holy stone. What? <laughs> you, what do you think you're doing? If you keep making false accusations like that, the divine power will rain punishment down upon you. You look so pleased with yourself. I've seen everything. A vision of you groveling on the ground. Fine. Fate cannot be changed, and I will prove that fact to you. If that woman stays with her abusive boyfriend, she will meet a horrible injury within a year's time. Now, if you want to believe you can change your destiny, go ahead and try. 
But once you realize the error in your thinking, can't buy that a true expert handle things. I will save her with a holy stone. With money. Yeah. Well then. Oh, we done it. I'm way too busy for this. Now you suddenly like this confidant. <laughs> yeah, so solve it with money. Give me 200 grand this time. I need a bigger one. She, she's probably thinking business. You know? So how, how badly do you want to prove her wrong? Yeah, pretty bad. I want to see what happens. Well, Today's the day we're having a free time to try and help out at the cafe, right? This would be a stressful turn of events. So you don't want me to save it right now, right? Well, you can't right now, can you? Can I? Oh. <laughs> oh. You, want, you want me to let Futaba help out around the shop? But I never had her do anything like that before. Is she going to be okay? This isn't the same as taking care of a cat, you know. Don't worry, I did gra graduate middle school last year. I'll be fine uh, if I just think of this as my first time a job of high school. <sighs> uh, yeah, I mean graduate, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, in that case, how about you wash the dishes? Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? <laughs> hey, are you alright? Hey. Usual boss extra strong. Sure thing. Keep an eye off the trouble for me. <laughs> she a new part-timer. Man, smooth as always. What number born girl is this, boss? Oh my god. It's not like that. You usually go for the older ones, right? It's only natural you that want someone younger sometimes. It's like the... What the fuck is that? Guatemala pea, pea berry coffee is acidic sweetness is akin to a breath of fresh air. Out of nowhere. Let me explain. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we're serving a blend today. Hey. Snap out of it. Hurry up and bring him the coffee before it gets cold. Where the fuck is she? Ah! But what? Oh. <laughs> the fuck? Yo, here's your coffee. Jeez. When in the world did she? Hey, Futaba, haven't I told you not to show up and fight people with that damn thing on? Where the fuck has he got? He's just running around with the boots on. Stomping. Alright, oh, oh, I thought he was backing himself. Just tell me when I say the sentence again. She's gonna drag him back to the room. Yeah. yeah. It's back his bottom. <laughs> yeah, just tell me when to start again and I will. I just, just you're gonna have to reread the line. Yeah, well, well, that's, well, that's what I'm doing. This is the problem I wanted to avoid because I knew this was gonna fucking happen. You can't always avoid this. That's the problem, isn't it? Hey, Futaba, haven't I told you not to show up in front of people with that damn thing on? I'd be more put up when you're bringing something to a customer. Here is your coffee, sir. Watch the TV. They just do it out of the toilet. Oh. Well, I've got a handle in them, that's a problem. We well, haven't got a handle, you can't just stick him in a room. No, for no, yeah, but what I'm saying is, yeah, he's got the TV on and he's still fucking shut for no fucking reason. I did my job right. Huh? Turns out this is pretty easy. 
think for time I'll go out and talk to a customer and sell mask aside, I'm impressed. <laughs> Looks like people really can change. Sajiro, want me to bring coffee to more customers. Mask off first. I'll think about it. Yeah, told you the ma the confidence comes from the mask in it. Did anyone here share information about our real identities? Like how we do that? Why the question? I overheard someone in the sea saying that they're, they're our acquaintance. Talk about false rumours. But hey, at least we're famous enough to have rumours about us. We might even break into the news online, or maybe TV. Haven't we been already on TV? I think we were, yeah. Right. By the way, how did today go? I served coffee to customers. So she showed up in front of customers with that thing on. Anyways, you better get used to it fast. You can't be a fan of thief if you're scared of people. I try my best. Hey, today's the fourth day already. You get a little bad dealing with other people. I don't know. I can't really tell. People cannot change their deep-seated habits that easily. Yep. Well, let's just say you have made some progress for now. Hey, wait! Stop it! You're gonna pull my cheeks off. Man, those girls are late. Girls are late. Who do you think they are making us wait like this? Hello? Please excuse us. I'm sorry. Apologies for the lateness. We were looking at multiple items and weren't sure which to choose. Looking? Looking at what? A swimsuit, of course, for Futaba Chan. Huh? What? A swimsuit? You don't have one, do you? No, but... Okay, let's have you try it on right now then. <coughs> now? You can't go to the beach if you don't have a good fitting swimsuit. We don't have much time left, you know? But... <coughs> you know what will happen if you try and look, right? Incredible. Oh wow, it's perfect. I'm amazed you were able to eyeball it with such accuracy on. I know, right? There we go, it's on. Ah! What the? This barely covers anything. <laughs> That's normal for a swimsuit. Now, we just need to push these a little more this way. Hmm? Push. Are you supposed to move them with that much force? You've got to put some oomph into this stuff. There, good to go. Oh. Ethan, I'm impressed. I wonder what they're doing up there. EG. They're, they're having her try on the swimsuit, right? What else could they be doing? We tarp in the swimsuit. I expect that would make a great painting. Perhaps we should ask McCurry about it. You skate. Shut up. How rude. I speak from a pure, purely artistic standpoint. That's what you said last time. There it go, okay? We should just stay put. You guys are such children. Yeah. What's with all the rockers upstairs? Or rockers, I don't know. Something about no, a swimsuit. You, you said it right. Alright, okay. Cool. Yeah, we're going to the beach pretty soon. So they're trying some swimsuits out. Futaba's is going to the beach? Mm. I didn't think that I'd ever see her take that much interest in going outside again. Well then, it seems we're good to go with the swimsuit. All for that tree aside, I think it looks really great. Now you just got to get rid of those round shoulders. Come on, straighten out your back. Right. I owe you one. She might be some, in, be some trouble, but I hope she can make some great memories with you guys. Well, I'll beat you up if you so much as touch her. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. We've got swimsuits, we're totally ready to hit the beach. All that's left is for Futaba to prepare herself mentally. I can do this. I can, I think. Maybe. So you're not confident? Shut up, Inari. Ah, it's finally starting to feel like summer vacation. Still, I've been thinking about some things now. 
I might as well calm down a little bit, a little more. The psychotic breakdowns, cognitive science, and the one in the black mask. Right, we need to proceed with extreme, extreme caution going forward. That said, we don't have enough information right now. We need to investigate more. So I help out too. Can we talk about this some other time? I'm so damn sleepy. Okay, good night then. So tell her, Chun. Good luck tomorrow too. Now then. So, what should we do today? Let's see. Wanna eat together? You know, like how we had hot pot that one time? That may be a good idea. It'll be a great way to strip our interest squad in friendships. <laughs> I can do that. Okay, I'll take a cola and an omelette with, with rice. Oh, I'll make that a large, please. I like the same. Do you have some money? No, but it's for Tarbo's sake. <laughs> Fine, you owe me. Got it? I want the same. Extra large. <laughs> I ate loads. Damn. Futaba, I'm impressed. Indeed, your appetite is quite nice to see. I much prefer that to to women who don't who don't eat a lot. Hmm? You better not be hitting on me. What? How rude. Sujiro, help me. <laughs> he just beats up your skin. Will you stop that? Hmm. So does this mean her training is going good? Let's go with that then. Hey, let me make you guys some after-meal coffee. It's on me. Thank you. I want ice to coat. Good coat, though. Is that? I don't know. Cocoa or some shit. I don't know. You can't handle bitter stuff either, right? Ice co- <laughs> I can't say that word. Is it- I don't know. <laughs> like, you go to say it and then you just give up immediately. Yeah, I just say it. Coco. It's not a real thing. They changed the name. It's a cocoa. Say what you want. Alright, cocoa then. Sounds good. At least they don't think it's a real thing. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Extra cold, please. I don't think we're ever had lunch this year. Lunch this exciting. Yep. It's lots of fun. Hey, what do you think we should do about the beach trip? Does it look like she can go soon? Well, she has started to talk a lot more. She's made great progress compared to how she was at the beginning. Thoughts, Futaba? Will you be able to do this tomorrow, perhaps? Tomorrow. That's too soon. I want to prepare myself. I should be good if it's the day after tomorrow, I think. We'll go the day after tomorrow, then. Just let us know if you are up for it, Futaba, okay? It's alright, I can do this. Looks like we know when we actually finished up. Finish up now. The beat is finally within reach. Okay. Just one more day to go. Tomorrow we hit the beach. Hey, are you there? Sorry, but I need your help with the dishes. Help with the dishes? If Tarba here too. That means we're not only helping out at the cafe, but we're also babysitting for Tarba today too. Well, the faster we get started, the faster we'll finish. Yeah, you make it sound like a hassle. Want anything, Futaba? Orange juice, 100% natural. That reminds me, you're going to the beach tomorrow, yeah? Go have fun and make up for the fireworks. Just try not to cut loose too much. Fireworks? Oh, yeah, you wouldn't know. He tried to go to a firework festival, but it got rained out. Not only did he get crushed in the crowd, they came home looking like some kind of drowned rat. Fireworks, huh? Hello. Oh, welcome. Oh, you're... Huh? You know each other? Wait, aren't you... I'm a catchy. Oh yeah, the one on TV and stuff. So what brings you here, Mr. Detective? This place is more than I imagined it to be. The atmosphere is wonderful. 
No wonder Sai-san recommended it so strongly to me. I already told her everything I know. There's nothing more I've got for you people. Oh, no. That's not my intention. I just came to enjoy some coffee. Oh. And she is? Oh. You must be Wakabai Shiki's. What'll it be? I'll have whatever you recommend. Coming right up. Huh. It seems I'm unwelcome no matter where I go. Did I bother you? My apologies. Apparently, my mother was in a relationship with some lowlife of a man. She was swiftly discarded when he learned she was pregnant. That despair would lead to her death. Thanks to him, I was passed from foster home to foster home. But I do quite well by myself these days. Mm. Ah, yes, Mejed. To think they'd be taken down by another hacker. I'm not sure whether Mejed was defeated by the Phantom Thieves themselves, or an avid supporter. Um, you're... Futaba-chan, right? Sai-san told me about you. Many kids your age seem to be fans of the Phantom Thieves. Do you like them too? Hmm. What's the matter? You're popular too, Ace Detective Akechi. <laughs> Thank you. Although I'd rather not be compared to people like the Phantom Thieves, if at all possible. Hmm. This is delicious. You get to drink this coffee every day? I'm incredibly jealous. I would never have thought you'd be boarding at this cafe. We seem to share some kind of bond. <laughs> Your boldness surprises me at times. I believe that fate brings people together. It's strange, but talking to you is thought-provoking. Well... I think I found my go-to cafe. Please don't come back again. <laughs> Lock the door and never open right. it. I bet he knew you were there the whole time. He's the one to watch you now, right? Like you think's going on. Yeah. Come, come out right now. I'm outside the block. I want to light fireworks. Can we? I bought some. Mm -hmm. I ran into Mona on the way back, though. I'll go get Sojiro. I was worried, so I decided to follow her. She was able to buy everything on her own, though. If she can do that, she should be good to go. Plus, she did a great job dodging that ace detective. Sojiro, hurry, hurry! We're gonna have a firework festival! Oh, hold on, Futaba. I haven't even put up my cigarette yet. Use it to light them. Exactly, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do something Super close. Double move. Whee! Will you listen to? <coughs> hey, the, the cat doesn't like the smoke. Keep the flames away from him. Dang! I made a huge one. Sojiro, look, look. <laughs> right. It's just be careful, okay? <laughs> Memories of summer. Huh? Okie dokie. I'm gonna do ten now! No! No! <laughs> Futaba will be in your care today. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her.
Summer beaches are filled with all sorts of idiots letting loose. I need you to stay by her side. Hey, can we go already? Are you sure you'll be all right? It's just a day trip. Don't underestimate me. Uh, right. Uh, sorry. Guess I just have to let it go. Have fun, but be careful, you two. When you trust a criminal with your daughter. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. This was hilarious. Now wait six more years for another anime cutscene. Seriously, that was good, man. That was short, but it was good. Oh, it's so hot. There's a lot of people here. Are you okay, Futaba? I'm fine. You guys are here. It's almost lunchtime. No, the squid's staring at me. It's cooked, so don't worry. Would you even eat squid if I'm not around? Why don't we eat lunch too? I'll go get some stuff for us then. You're eating that even here? My staple food. This should be a familiar flavor. Yet how does it taste so good? What's up Makoto? You ain't eating much. Um, Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. So, what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Oh, sorry. Us girls already made plans to ride a banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Sorry. Wait, then what about us? Keep an eye on our stuff. <laughs> Hell no! Why you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality... Strange, isn't it? Uh, they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. But, Lady On, can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry. We'll go now. We'll switch when we're done. Keep an eye on our stuff for us. Banana, banana. Ah, the sea is weird. It's dangerous if you run around like that. Here comes Damn it. I don't get how amazing we are. Easy, we stop risk talking. our lives being phantom thieves. There's no way we're the same as other guys around here. Why the fuck are you saying in public again? Shouldn't we be having more good times in reality too? I don't care. <laughs> you have a point. Right? Don't you agree, Yusuke? 
Well, if you put it that way, you may be right. What the fuck? Wait a minute, it's fucking hot. Why is he got a hoodie? Uh, you just realized that now. No, <laughs> I just realized it's fucking boiling. On and the others don't get it because they're always around us. Hey, how do we get Lady On to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Well, we gotta steal, you know what? made fun of us and all let's show her what we're really made of I see I just need to prove my skills in reality as well let's steal all the hearts with the skills we've honed as phantom thieves I'm sure girls will be all over us considering the vibes we give off very well let's do this pulling off our work in reality doesn't sound bad so what we're just gonna beat the shit out of them it's it's settled then. <laughs> so Mona you're in charge of watching over our stuff okay Huh? All right, let's hurry up and go. Hey, what the hell? Get back here! Don't leave me behind! What is Mona gonna do if someone just steals their shit? <laughs> I can't do fuck all. <laughs> the cat. Try to chat the ladies. Those ladies look way older than you. By the way, if I was gonna chat my lady, I fuck. I'd get used to get the piss off. Alright, three guys approaching one girl is not a good idea. Or this guy looks worse than us! <laughs> yep, that just makes you look- Don't approach one girl with three guys. <laughs> it looks disgusting, it looks dirty, isn't it? It doesn't, it doesn't look dirty, it just looks so fucking desperate that you have to bring your whole crew over. <laughs> your whole crew has to go talk. I don't know, the ocean just looks kind of bland to me. Come on, man. Don't say that like I'm the only one who messed up. We were going at, at it as a team, right? Don't go out as a team, go separate ways. I've sensed the presence staring at us for some time now. Are we being followed? Wait, does this mean girls are gonna hit on us? <laughs> See, I told you they'd be here. I can sense it deep within my What's that? Loins. Lo loins. <laughs> Those lovely boys look like they're just begging to be hit on. <laughs> oh no, it's look at these quiz. time to fucking run. Look <laughs> oh. <laughs> these guys from Shichuku. It's the same two, isn't it? It's the same two guys. <laughs> what are you doing it? Oh my, I can't believe we've been reunited in such a stunning, stunning place. It smells like destiny to me. No. We're the fashion police. If you don't answer our questions, we'll take you away. So, which of us do you think is more manly? What are you talking about? Oh dear, your time is up. Sorry, but it was a trick question. The correct answer is... We're both lovely. You in interfered with our duties by not answering the question. I sentence you to... Stripping. <laughs> <laughs> My <laughs> fashionista skills were perfect for this. Hands behind your head. Where's the kill? Where's the use kick on? Oh, he left. <laughs> Get him! The suspects are escaping. Catch them. <sighs> I think we lost them. Somehow he lost them immediately. Wait. By the way, where's Yusuke? So this is where you two were. I've been searching for you. What are you doing with those lobsters? Yes. While you were busy with your interrogation, I found these beautiful specimens of sale. And so, I decided to spend the last of my money on them. Man, you're really hopeless when it comes to cash. Wait, you're watching us. Why didn't you help? Apologies, but I was, in, but I was entranced. The moment I set my eyes on this distinct shape, I was in love. I often had my very core shaken as Vigorously as it's since the first time I entered my gaze. Good for you. I'm very sorry. We're here with friends. Come on, don't lie to us, baby. I'll bet you come for a nice cruise on our boat. There's going to be a party too. Tons of celebra celebrities in the street people will be coming along. Uh... Are you even listening to us? Sorry about the wait. Huh? So you were serious about being here with friends? 
That's what we've been saying from the start. Don't you find it boring spending your time with kids like them? Wow. It's far more interesting than anything involving you two. What was that? Hey, let's just let the children have fun with fellow children. We'll be going now. What creeps? Thank you very much. Thanks for coming in like that. Those guys just won't stop pestering us. To be honest, I was nearly at my wit's end. By the way, where are Futaro and Magana? Huh? What? Are those lobsters one in each hand? I was wondering about that myself. Are you going to make them into sashimi or perhaps roast them whole? What? Enough of your fire postulations. These are purely for the sake of visual appreciation. <laughs> we did tons of stuff today. All in all, I guess coming to the beach was pretty worth it. She won't be able to get that lobster from you. She's <laughs> no. too tall. We should probably start heading home. Agreed. Let's pack up. Futaba seemed fine in the crowd too. So it looks like she's overcome her last exercise. Hey, Futaba! We're going home! Stop standing around and help us! You know, all this time, I thought that it was my fault that my mom died. Uh huh. It's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone looked at me thinking I was a murderer. I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished... I wished my mom would come back to life. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. But nothing had changed in the world. That's why I'd sleep again. It'd be a repeat of that. <sighs> I loved my mom. I wanted to become like her. How she'd work late into the night. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. How she'd do her best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cognitive science, wasn't it? The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core, and further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's the metaverse! She knew about that? It made no sense back then. But now I understand, after it actually happened to me. All I thought about was my mom. I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves. That they steal hearts. That I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. Overheard? Ah, oh, the bug. So, why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. Talk about an awful hobby. You talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy I jumped up and down. I thought, maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. You could have just told us from the start. You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Yes. You had us twisted around your little finger. But Futaba, you didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for it. One was Mejed's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful it frustrated me. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded too. Indeed. You were our only hope. The other was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. Talk about making shit up. <sighs> it made me sad, and it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. So that's why. 
But the Phantom Thieves... I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. Do you believe in us now? Yeah, I can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. There's nothing to join. You're already one of us. I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom. The reason why she was killed. Killed? It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Is this about mental shutdowns? Then, the criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned... Yes. That could be the case. I don't like pursuing this line of thought. But perhaps your mother's shadow was... I don't know for sure. But right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. And she didn't jump into the road, it was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. I even snuck into the networks of various research labs to look at their classified data. That's why you're good at hacking. What kind of brain do you have? But I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I bet it's them. Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. Futaba. If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. Then eventually, it might even lead to those men in black. It's a super personal reason why I want to join you. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? If anything, you're dependable. Ain't that right, Mona? Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! This is what our Phantom Thieves are like. <laughs> but I hope we get along, Futaba. Thanks. Let's leave those two be. Why don't we lose no time and decide on Futaba's code name? What's that? It's not cool if we called each other by our real names. Joker, Skull, Mona, Panther, Queen, and I'm Fox. In Futaba's case, Hacker wouldn't be right, would it? Mech? PC? No. Why don't we go literal and call her goggles? Super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. <laughs> In your face. Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's code name? What's a foul? Pharaoh. Yeah, what's that? Uh, like Queen of Egypt, basically. Oh. Uh. Uh. I just go with this one and see what happens. I'll curse you. <laughs> what would you want it to be, Futaba? Hmm. Oracle. With my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Sounds great! And Futaba will be Oracle. But man, I never even dreamed that the rumored Phantom Thieves would be so close. Same goes to you. To think you'd be the daughter of a metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate. Should we get going then? Yep, let's go home. Yes, the incident with Medjad seems to have been more effective than predicted. This should spur the Phantom Thieves' support even more now. I agree. There are effective ways to use the Phantom Thieves. Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash. Whether they're connected to us or not. 